early advent October. Every year I get that advent calendar of beer. 24 beers in 24 days. Every year I end up drinking all 24 in the same night because it's in front of me. I don't think I even refrigerated any of them. They were all warm. This year I'm doing it right. By that I mean two months early, brother. Let's just get to it. Bam! Uh oh. Bam! We've got Alpen Stoff. Stoff? Stiff? Stoff. Das Bier der Berge. I'm translating without any help this time. So Alpen meaning the Alps, like the mountain. Stuff meaning, crap, I forgot again. It's material, I remembered. Didn't have to Google it. Maybe stuff of the Alps. Das Bier, pretty easy, the beer. Der Berge, the mountains. So the beer of the mountains. It's another Hellas lager, hopefully full of flavor. So first, fun fact, I really should have read the box before starting any of these. In my defense, I was really excited to start drinking. I didn't get so excited I drank them all on the same day again. There's a beer tasting club. There's a QR code on each can as well as the box. Look at it, you'll actually get the review of the beer as well as being able to review it yourself. I felt a little bad because I haven't been doing a lot of research about these beers and I figured this would be the perfect way to do that. I wanted to see if I can get more info on this beer this time through that. Instead, I was wrong. Just check it on my phone. First off, all in German, which is fine because it's, you know, they're all German beers and that kind of makes sense, but there's not even an option to go into English. Usually when there is an international site that is sold widely in the US, there is an option to do that. The site is not very well made, especially not for mobile devices. The can, oh, hold on, let me show you. This is basically the website right here. And if you try scrolling, you just continue to have the can in front of you at all time and not being able to read the print. Even though I know it's German, I just get Das Bier is, um, that is just come. The entire box is in English and it's sold here in the US, but there's no English option. So, which weirdly makes this review series relevant. That's sad because I'm awful at this. Oh, we know. The editing is getting better and it's still trash. I don't know what he's talking about. Let's get to the beer. Just tap and crack it open. Never really film the pouring anymore because it's boring. Pouring is boring, but I want you to see you don't fear that I've switched the beer. I want to get the whole beer out in case I put the can on the camera again and I have to put it sideways. I don't just drop the beer everywhere. One of you sons of bitches told my wife I dropped the beer on the desk yesterday. I don't know who it was. I will find you. It is pretty, actually dark, just beautiful. Almost amber. It's very inviting. As for the aroma, it's given off floral notes, um, just like nice flowery scent. It's very inviting, nice full bodied, lots of flavor to it. Not super smooth, almost given like a Pilsner-like feel on this one. The, the floral notes definitely stay with the flavor the entire time, giving it an almost sweet feel to it. Not heavy sweet, just, just the aromas doing it. Otherwise, you get a nice biscuity flavor again. A nice little bready, little hard on the bread. <laughs> he said bread. Oh, a stronger mouthfeel. I hate saying mouthfeel, it always sounds dirty. I don't get it. 5.6%, it actually tastes a little bit stronger than that. I do like this. It's not bad at all. It's just a little stronger than I expected. It's my fault for having expectations. I mean, this and the website that doesn't work. It's really tasty. I say about every beer, by the way. Sometimes I have to edit it out, especially when my review gets worse after I keep drinking. <laughs> it's nice. It's a slow drinking beer. It's one you're going to take your time with. You don't want to keep chugging this sucker. Full bodied, full bodied like me. It's not going to be something you're going to be chugging down the entire time. Colder weather, which really got cold here recently. It's perfect for it. It's a perfect fall beer. I like it to be a little bit less full body and doesn't mean it's a bad beer at all. It just means it's not going to get that perfect score, even though it's the perfect beer for the perfect weather. It's something I would definitely recommend. I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's a great beer. Definitely get some if you can get some. The can looks great. Boom, I emptied it so I can do this without pouring it everywhere. Part of the Unsa Burger Brau. I keep getting told that I'm pronouncing that burger wrong. So I don't care. I'm just going to call it Burger Brau then. It would go good with a burger. Have a burger with this. They say it's good with bratwurst. Some bratwurst. Someone makes some bratwurst. I'll eat it with that all day. Full bodied. Fill you up quick. If you don't want to have a bunch of beers, this is a great beer to have. Look how beautiful it is. Could I only give it a four out of five? <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Have a nice cold day. Enjoy yourselves. Dog tax. Your breath is straight butthole. Keep brushing your teeth and it keeps getting worse. <laughs>